Hey YouTube, this is Orion making another vid. If you like my content, please consider hitting the like button and also please consider subscribing as it is very much appreciated. This is a short comparison video of the Cold Steel Viking Hand Axe and Cold Steel Viking Battle Axe. I now have both of those axes and I just wanted to show them together. Although it's going to be quite hard to get them both in frame. Sorry for that. Um... I have both of them now. If I can get the, the covers off them. I should have done this off camera, sorry about that. That's the battle axe and the hand axe. Just to see the differences in, um, in heads you can see them in there in the frame you can um you can see they're both strikingly different um they both have the same length handles both 30 inch hickory handles they're both the handles are very similar um they're almost identical they both feel the same very very similar but the he and the heads while they almost you can feel they they have the same feel and that look as far as the the finishing that goes they um they came very different as far as the factory sh sharpness goes the hand axis one was blunt, very blunt. Battle axe was the battle axe was a little bit different. It was a little bit sharper, but it um I haven't sharpened it as as much yet. This one's a little bit sharper. I have sharpened it up. I wouldn't want to get hit with it yet now, but I'm going to get it sharpened properly. This one's still blunt. It's, um, you, you, you can run your finger along there. I wouldn't do that with that one now, but I'm going to get it properly sharpened. i put that one on the work sharp. It's, um, it's not too bad, but yeah, it's, um, it's not as good as I need it to be. And I want to get it sharp, but I'm, um, yeah, I'm not happy with this one's got, a lot of wobble in the head. I'm gonna to have to fit the heads properly on it. It's um yeah, pretty bad. They they develop head wobble really badly, quickly. So yeah, I'm I'm a bit disappointed in that. They um they they develop the head wobble up pretty quickly as far as that goes. Um it's just part of the owning these things I think. As far as it goes with them now. As far as the sheaths go, I'm not going to get a Kydex one done for that. They're just too expensive as far as it... Because you have to get them from America. Although they are excellent. This um this Kydex sheath is really good. I'm just going to content... I'm be content with that one. The... The... Um, nylon one with that the the kydex ones are as, as expensive as the the axes are and um yeah i'm just going to go with it as they are now i'm just going to rehandle them now and get the handles f fitted properly get them both sharp and go from there but i thought it'd, it'd be interesting is to see the two of them together now that I have both of them. But anyway, that's just a, a short comparison video of the hand axe and the battle axe. That I've got two of them, the, the two fun pieces. I like both of them actually. I'm, I don't know which way I'm leaning. I, I enjoy both of them. They're both fun, fun axes. I like the long handles. And yeah. I really like that sheath. That um, yeah, it's it's really good, really, 
definitely worth the money, but yeah, it's it was expensive. I keep going on about it, but yeah. But yeah, I, I enjoy this one too. It's a good piece. I, I, I like the way I've done that too. It's not bad, but yeah. And you can see them sitting on each other there. You can see that how different they are. But um, yeah. You can see differences in the heads. They certainly are a different different beast, even though they've got the same handles. Actually, I haven't really swung them in anger yet, so I'm going to get them sharp and I'll see how they and put the heads on them properly before I really do f get, flog them into anything yet. So once I get that done and I'll, I'll, I'll see how they go as far as actually using them. Anyway, thanks for watching.